at home. I, I couldn't make this at home. But where were they? I mean, you went. Oh, Jesus. It's all that yoga uh, I do. Again, your wife is going to get really, really mad at you. Ask me how I know. How much does this cost? I did the last intro, oh, so you got this okay. one. Oh, it's my turn. Okay, hey guys, uh, welcome to Cutting Corners with Jim and Jake. Uh, today we're going to talk about cost, price, etc. Um, basically, how do we arrive at our prices, uh, what factors go into it, and how can you save money? So the first thing that I want to talk about, I made one part in three different materials. So the first is 5052 aluminum. These are all a quarter inch, so I have HRPO and 304 stainless as well. This is a relatively simple part, uh, pretty small as well. These were about $8.50 each in a quantity of two. Same thing in HRPO, which is hot rolled, pickled and oiled mild steel. Uh, these were about $8.50 as well. So even though they're wildly different materials, different alloys, completely different properties, yeah. similar in price. Uh, I mean, and they have a lot of different characteristics, right? So yeah. you have one that is not corrosion resistant, one that is, one that, you know, is good for cleaning materials and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah. It's it, counterintuitive to some people, but honestly, sometimes it comes down to how much we're purchasing at once. You know, we're buying thousands of tons of each. Um, so what you've seen, uh, you know, at your local metal shop or whatever, your people are usually going to be like, oh, aluminum's way more expensive. Uh, for us, sometimes it's not. So check your prices in a bunch of different materials to get the best uh, best option for your project. Well, and each one of these though, right, has different grades of aluminum, right? So we have 5,000 series, 6,000 series, Correct. 7,000 series. And so 6,000 series is typically more expensive than 5,000 series and because here's how of much its it is properties. And here's how much it is in 6061, oh. it's right here. You have to do your work now, Keaton. I know, yeah, good, you're gonna earn your money. The, but yeah, so like when you're doing that and you're pricing out the two different ones, you have to consider like, well, do I need the added strength of the 6,000 series aluminum yep. over the 5,000 series? Because you can save essentially money if you don't need to go up in that, that material grade. Sorry. I thought I was gonna be able to spin yeah. it. Nice. Uh, last one, 304 series stainless steel. These were about $12 each. Uh, so just to show you, you know, just cause stainless is a more expensive parent material for us. Overall, similar cutting time on each. You know, it's not a big deal. When it's simple geometry like this, we're, we're hauling ass on all of it. Yeah, and I mean, and it, on these, it goes back to, I'm gonna echo again, the material properties that you need for your project, right? So understanding exactly what the end result of your project is. If it's gonna be an outside barbecue where you're like kind of covering a countertop and stuff, you're not gonna to wanna to put mild steel without doing some kind of top coat, which you're gonna pay extra for, right? Yeah. So you might save on the initial material of going with mild steel over the stainless, but then you're either gonna be painting it every single year yeah, yeah. or you're gonna to have to be replacing it every year. So yeah. go with the stainless a few more bucks. right? Yeah, for the this, more bucks. This powder coated is gonna be more than just the raw stainless. Exactly. Um, yeah. Also diving into that, so here's, uh, same material, a little thinner. This is also 5052 aluminum, but eighth inch thick. These guys, because there's more geometry, there's more cutting, there's more machine time, these are about $27 each. Uh, so cut, deburred, ship to your house. Again, free shipping on everything. So the price you see in the quota is the price that you're gonna get. I mean, it's, it's good to start thinking about your time though, right? And so like, if I was to make this at home, I have a lot of tools and stuff. I could make these parts at home. I, I couldn't make this at home. But I gotta buy the raw material, yep. right? Wait for that raw material to show up. I'd have to sit with the drill press and probably I'd, I'd, I'd run dye ink on it. I'd run, I'd scribe lines and stuff on it and yeah. do all of this like prep work and probably like six cups of coffee later and my wife calling me like three times why I'm not in the yeah. house, I would have one of those parts. Well, I mean, honestly, that's, that's our entire goal. That's why we have this company. Uh, it's so that we can provide you with finished parts for less than you can buy the raw materials. And oftentimes that's the truth. So yeah. these are about 27 bucks each in a quantity of two, uh, but then same part powder coated. So same base material, 5052, eighth inch thick. These guys are, what were they? I mean, you oh, went. Jesus, <laughs> 40, 43 bucks each. It's all that yoga uh, I do. So a, a little bit more cost uh, on these for the powder coating, but again, you know, hopefully it saves you uh, a bunch of time and uh, you know, going to a local powder coating shop, et cetera. I mean, I also like to think about like, I could get this part and spray can it, right? Yeah. But I might be doing that over and over and over again. If I'm gonna be selling a product to a customer, I'm gonna go with that powder coating part. 
yeah. because it has a better robustness over time. And it, you know, overall, it's just normally a cleaner look and yeah. than a rattle can. And if you think that you're gonna buy the Harbor Freight powder coat gun and do this in your home oven, again, your wife is gonna get really, really mad at you. Ask me how I know. Uh, <laughs> another thing that affects our pricing is quantity. So this little part, uh, flat, it's about two inches by two inches. This is uh, G90, which is one of my favorite materials because it's zinc plated. You know, we've been talking about coating and finishing a lot. It's ready to go. You can put this out in the wild and you never need to really worry about it, right? Yeah, you definitely don't need another top coat on it. You don't need to paint it. You don't need to powder coat it and stuff. It's ready to go. So this little part, if I just needed one of them, our minimum order amount is $29. Again, that's shipped to your house. So one is gonna be 29, but in a quantity of 10, as you can see here, uh, these are $3 each. So shipped to your door, 31 bucks total. So yeah, for, so for three more dollars, you yep. can get 10 of them for with, the same cost. With most materials, as soon as you add that second part, it's 20% off. You add a few more, it's gonna be 30, 40, 50% off, all the way up to, I think our max discount is like 86% in some materials. Mm -hmm. uh, so the way, the reason that we offer that quantity discount is it's easy for us to just let the machine eat for another 10 yep. seconds or 20 seconds so we can pass that savings on to you. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And that kind of goes with, I guess, size, right? So we haven't really talked about different sizes and parts and stuff. Yeah, the bigger the part, you know, obviously the more material it's gonna use, yep. the more handling. Uh, so yeah, the bigger the part, the better. If you're looking to save money, minimize. Uh, don't worry about waste. Don't worry about scrap. Yep. Yeah, we take care of that for you. Yeah. Right, so you know we take care that's of all the problem. nesting, you know, and that's and that's the savings and stuff that we can pass on to the customers. We minimize that waste on our end so that you don't have to essentially pay for that waste on your end. Yeah, and to be honest, like we don't have a lot of waste here, uh, because it's it's like a self fulfilling, virtuous cycle, whatever you call it. I don't know. Edit that part out. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, it's a it's a good effect. Keep if we there. if we keep our prices low, we have more volume. And with that more volume, we have less scrap. So, you know, we can fit in little, well, anyway, just use your imagination. We can fit different parts together and minimize our scrap use. So our volume actually allows us to keep our prices really low. Yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, we just kind of talked about nesting and stuff. So let's talk about other things that the customer doesn't need to worry about, right? So shipping, right? So yep. when you get the quote on our website, you don't have to worry about shipping. Shipping is free it's gonna to come to your door at the price that we're displaying to you, right? So there's no hidden costs. You're not gonna to get to check out and all of a sudden see, you know, all these added and stuff costs at the end, right? Yeah, you can add overnight uh, sure. if needed, you know, or, or expedited shipping. So uh, if you really need it to, to ship as fast as possible, once production is done, you can, you can upgrade if needed. Uh, however, we do ship from two facilities. So no matter where you're at in the country, we can reach in about two days of transit, uh, usually one day to most metros. Yeah. And I would say like if you have a lot of confusion on what material to use for your product, uh, we have a ton of content on our website that goes over each material, what they're good for. So if you go to Mild Steel, underneath Mild Steel has a, like a plethora of information about Mild Steel, what it is good for. When in doubt, 50-52 um, aluminum though. Yeah, 100%. It just works on what everything. What I use yeah. on it. It's 50-52 yeah. or Mild Steel. You can always do some kind of coating yeah. or something to make it work. Yeah. Um, but yeah, check out our website. We have so much information. Our content team works pretty much around the clock on that to make sure that we have everything you need to know to make the best choice for your material. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, we can talk about that. Oh. So, so before or after, I don't know which one's gonna come first, but from our tab and slot video, we have a part here that, um, that I made for my own project. Um, so we can talk about like how much does this cost? It was like, what, 52 bucks? Yeah, it's $52 for this. And that's with and bending and everything. And it's bending. Shipped. That's two yeah. different mating parts together. Um, back, check, it, check out the tab and slot video, you get to see it. Yeah, perfect. Um, but yeah, that's that's two different types of material too. So I have 187 uh, mild steel compared with a 104 thou mild steel in this. Um, One thing we didn't talk about in too. second ops, yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, no, you're good. I just talk over everybody. One thing too is bending, hem hardware, countersinking, tapping, all of those things function on a quantity discount as well. Agreed. So your first bend will probably be three bucks. Yeah. Uh, additional bends get cheaper and cheaper as you add more. So, and that's not only 
with a single part, but it's also across that entire line item. So if I needed 50 of these and they each had five bends, I would get a discount on the total of 250 bends. Yep, that's correct. Yeah, so yeah, each bend counts individually and I did eight parts. So you're multiplying yep. those, those, these four bends times eight parts. And so and you end up getting the discount on that total bend volume. The reason we can do that is because once it's set up, again, it's really easy for us just to keep, you know, hitting that press break yep. and doing the same hit over and over. We just set have up to give expensive. The, yeah, we just have to give the press break operator like a monster or a Red Bull or whatever their yes. poison is. Yes. Um, anyway, that's about it for pricing on, oh, the president. The, the president. president was behind us, oh, yeah. Right. No, I know. Well, yeah, don't don't show don't show that. <laughs> uh, anyway, that is it for today's episode of Cutting Corners with Jim and Jake. Love you, bye. Love you, bye.